I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. to you my dear friend it's evangelist gabriel fernandez here and it's so good to be with you today it is indeed another day that god has given us by his grace and by the grace of god we will make it through my dear friend we keep on going never give up never give in in whatever situation that you might be facing never ever throw in the towel i tell you my dear friend even if you are at your lowest point in life you only lose the battle when you give up so never give up just keep on pushing forward and you will win my dear friend, some of the people who achieve the greatest things in life are fighters. They never give up. These are people who are determined. They don't just receive what they have. They haven't just received it freely like that. There was a fight behind it. There was a fight of faith, number one. There was a fight of persistence, number two. There was a fight of trusting God, saying, I will believe God no matter what. And they received the miracle. In the same way, my dear friend, I encourage you to press on and you will receive your miracle. Today we're going to be praying special prayers of thanksgiving and we're going to be taking our scripture reading from the book of Psalms chapter 117 and it's only two verses. It is so amazing. It says a psalm of praise. Now I want to read it and I'm going to read to you from the amplified version. It says in verse 1 and verse 2 it says, Oh praise the Lord all you nations. Praise him all you people. And that's in line with Romans chapter 15 verse 11. Verse 2 for his loving kindness prevails over us and we triumph and overcome through him and the truth of the Lord endures forever praise the Lord you know my dear friend I want to talk about this before we go into a time of Thanksgiving let's just thank God regardless of what your situation might look like regardless of what you've gone through in the past regardless of the hurt and pain that we faced let us thank God thank him that you are still alive you know, of all the people that God could have created, He thought about you and He created you. Of all the people that God could have spared till this day, He thought about you and He spared you. Through even your lowest times, God was with you and He thought about you and He kept you alive, He kept you going. The fact that you are alive today, that you're going to experience another day regardless of how you might be feeling right now, the fact that you might be even watching this, it means God loves you and God is with you. So it's so essential that we praise Him in all that we do. Praise God. Recognize and realize that without God, we wouldn't be here. Recognize and realize that it's His grace that sustains us. Praise Him. This is why it says in verse 1, Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you people. So when it talks about all nations, it's talking about everyone who has received from God. We should all praise Him. Various different people. Not only one ethnic group, but everyone, all the various different people, all the various different nations, we should praise God. In verse 2 it says, for His loving kindness prevails over us. His loving kindness is what keeps us going. In line with the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16, that He came and He died for us in our place to restore us back to Him. It is through His loving kindness that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came and died for us. It is through His loving kindness that in the times when we feel like it's over, we are able to keep on going. Have you ever witnessed any situation where you felt like this is the end? And yet you're still alive today. It is God's loving kindness. His loving kindness prevails over us. It goes on to say, and we triumph and overcome through Him. We have our victory through God. Maybe it's a victory in business. Maybe that business was on the brink of shutting down. Maybe you were in debt, serious debt, and you didn't know what to do. You had no income to pay it off, and yet you're still here, you're still around. It never went the wrong way. When you put your trust in God, He made a way out. That victory that we receive, it is from God. And we overcome through Him. I love the way it says we overcome through Him. Not we overcome without Him, we overcome through Him. He helps us to overcome. It shows us that we should depend on God. We should rely on Him. It also exposes our absolute dependence on God as believers. It goes on to say, And the truth of the Lord endures forever. His word, His truth will stand true. This is why I always say, Stand on the word of God. Believe what the word of God says. 
put your faith and your trust in what the word of God says and you will come back with the testimony. Now today, my dear friend, we're going to thank God for all the good things that he's done. We're going to thank him for the fact that he is with us. And even through the trying times that we went through, we never died. It was not over. It was not the end, but he preserved our lives. He made it so that we could be here today, that you could watch this video. It is because of his grace. It is because of the mercy and the grace that is available in Christ. So today, let us begin by praising him. Let's go into a time of praising God. And even as the presence of God comes, we'll begin to thank him. And I tell you, my dear friend, as you thank him, you're going to receive a miracle. I just discern this in my heart as you thank God, as you just appreciate and be grateful for all the things that he's done, even the little things. He will do amazing things in your life. Maybe you're trusting God for something today. Maybe you're trusting God that He will move in your life, that He will do something amazing, that He will do something gracious, something merciful, something, something great, something that only God can do. As you thank Him, He will do what He can do. And He will touch and change your life forever. You will see that there is grace in God and it is available to us who believe. In saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Just lift up praises to God. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. We praise you. Thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you for this day that we can just lift up praises and thanks to you. Lord, the work that you've begun in my dear friend's life, in your dear child's life, wherever my dear friend is, continue to do that work and receive all the praise, even for the work that you've done so far. Receive all the praise for the work that you're going to do. Receive all the praise for the work that you're currently doing in my dear friend's life and continue to do great and mighty things, O oh God. I thank you for your grace and your mercy that is available today. I thank you for your grace and your mercy that is available in Christ. I thank you and I give you praise because even as we pray today, something great, something mighty, something merciful will happen in my dear friend's life. Something that only you can do. You're the God of the impossible. You do the impossible in tough situations, in trying situations, in times when we feel like it's the end. You come through for us just in time. And you're not a last minute God, you're a just in time God. You come through at the right time. We give you praise and we thank you Lord. Thank you for your presence that's right here in this place, in this studio. Thank you for your presence that is in the place where my dear friend is watching. Today as we thank you, come and do great and mighty things. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I want you to do two simple things, even as I begin to pray for you, as we thank God together. I want you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is say a simple prayer, one line. Say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I invite you into this place. Come and touch me and change my life. I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below and agree with me because there is so much power in agreement. The Bible says where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. Furthermore, it says where two or more agree on a thing is touching, it shall be established. So even today, as we thank God, as we choose to thank him for everything, as we choose to be grateful, let us agree and God will do amazing things in your life. Let us agree in faith. You see, my dear friend, it is faith in the word of God that produces results. It is faith in God that is outlined in the Bible that produces results. So even as you want results in your life, have faith and believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Now, we're going to do things a bit differently. I want you to begin to thank God. Thank him for everything that comes into your heart right now. Just begin to thank him. Thank him and just tell him how grateful you are for everything. Thank him for the fact that you're still alive. Thank him and, and just tell him how much you love him. Just express your gratitude to God. Thank him for your children. Your children might still be doing funny things. They might not be listening to you. They might be very rebellious, but thank him for that child nonetheless. Other people are praying for children. Other people are trusting God for children. Thank him that God gave you a child and thank him in advance that God's going to turn that child's life around. Thank him for your siblings. Other people don't have brothers and sisters. Thank him. Thank him for your parents. There are some people who grew up without parents. Thank him for parents. There are some people who would love to experience what you had. Thank him for that. Thank him for all the graces and the luxuries that he made available to your life. Just thank him. 
Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, that even today, right now, we can be here and we can praise you. Thank you, Lord, that you never leave us. You never, ever forsake us. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, that even today, as today is Saturday, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you are doing great and mighty things in my dear friend's life. Thank you, Lord, that you never stop and you never sleep, you never slumber. Lord, you continue working with us, changing us, molding us, taking us to greater glories. We thank you, Lord, for your way, the way that you advise us to walk in. Because we know that the reason why you advise us to walk in that way is because you care for us. And you don't want us to reap the consequences of going the wrong way. Lord, we give you praise and we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for the gospel. We thank you for the fact that we have breath and life in us, even today, that we can pray. We thank you for the fact that we could meet up through technology like this, like what we're doing right now. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, that we've made it through another week. Thank you, Lord, for the rest that we're going to get this weekend. Thank you, Lord, that by your grace and by your mercy, we will make it through. And we will not stop. We will not give in. We will not give up. Lord, we thank you in advance for all the miracles that you're going to do in my dear friend's life. We thank you, Lord, for that job that you're going to give my dear friend if my dear friend is unemployed. We thank you for those business deals business contracts, business ideas. We thank you, Lord, that that business of my dear friend is going to go to a greater glory. As my dear friend puts their trust in you, as my dear friend chooses to trust in you, we thank you, Lord, that you are going to make a way in that workplace of my dear friend where things were going the wrong way, where my dear friend saw and it was clear that my dear friend was going to be laid off soon. We thank you, Lord, that you are changing the situation around. We thank you, Lord, where Communities have been divided, families, marriages, churches. We thank you that you're bringing restoration. You're bringing restoration of relationships and you're bringing things back together again. We thank you, Lord, for your restoration power that's released right now. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that wherever your presence is, there is freedom. Freedom from sin, freedom from bondage, freedom from all sorts of bad habits. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. We give you praise even today. Today, as you're doing what only you can do, continue the work that you've done in my dear friend's life, that you've started, that you've begun. Continue that work and take my dear friend to greater and greater glories. Father, we choose in this ministry not to take a religious approach. And when I say a religious approach, I mean we choose not to take an approach that's simply works and actions and routines and religious philosophies, but lack of you, lack of a presence from you, lack of a relationship with you. We choose rather to go for a, a real and a genuine approach where we connect to you, where we genuinely know you, where we follow your will, where we actually take your Bible and not just act religious, but we take your Bible and we apply it in all situations that we go through. Thank you, Lord, that your power and your presence is always available with us. Thank you for all the testimonies that have been coming in. There have been so much and they've encouraged us so much as the team. We have had so many testimonies from around the world and we thank you for them, Lord. We give you praise. We thank you for the, the mighty deliverances that have taken place. We thank you for the mighty miracles, the mighty healings. We thank you for all that you continue to do and all that you are still going to do in the future. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise and we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence that's available right now. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Thank you, Lord, that even as my dear friend is in agreement with me, wherever my dear friend is watching, my dear friend is going to receive a greater glory. Lord, because all these material things are nice, Lord, but they're, they're just the cherry on the cake. They're not the cake. The cake is a relationship with you. The cake is your presence. The cake is getting to know you and being satisfied genuinely on the inside. Knowing you for real. Having a genuine connection with you. That is the cake. We give you praise and we thank you, Lord, that even today we are receiving a genuine touch and a genuine connection with you. Lord, as your word says, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. We choose to seek you. 
We choose to seek a relationship with you. We choose to seek your presence, your power, a, a genuine connection with you, with the living God. Knowing that all these other things that we desire, the cars, the houses, all these things, they're secondary, they will be added on. But most important to us is your presence. Most important to us is getting to know you, O oh God. We thank you for this in the name of Jesus and we give you praise. I thank you that from today onwards, my dear friend is going to a greater glory and a greater level in their relationship with you. Your dear son will get to know you more wherever he's watching. Your dear daughter, the same with her. She will get to know you more. And wherever there's any trouble that's being stirred up against your children, I thank you that right now, all weapons formed against your child are being cancelled and broken down. All barriers are being broken down. And no weapon that's fashioned against us will prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us, we condemn it right now. Every curse that has been spoken against us or our bloodline or our family, we thank you that it's broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, didn't it just feel so good to thank God? Didn't it just feel so amazing to say thank you to the Lord for all that He's doing, for all that He has done, for the fact that we are still alive today? Didn't it just feel so good? It gives so much relief. You know, when you count your blessings, you see how blessed you truly are. Sometimes when we focus in on our situations that are wrong, that are going the wrong way, uh, it, it seems like everything is going bad and like God doesn't love you. But when you actually start to count your blessings, you realize how blessed you are and how much God has done for you. And I pray and trust and believe that you have realized that today, that you are blessed wherever you are. I hope and trust and pray that you are happy, that this has put a smile on your face and that you'll enjoy the rest of your day. Have a blessed weekend with the Lord, with uh, the time that you spend with God and even with your family. Wherever you go, whatever you do, may you be kept safe in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, I'll see you again tomorrow for the Sunday Deliverance Prayers. Until then, Shalom and Goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the Gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and Goodbye.